हाय एवरीवन एंड वेलकम टू दी चैनल आई एम एस राजवीर तो दोस्तों आज बात करते हैं हम एक बहुत ही बेहतर वर्ड पर ब्यूफुल पर दोस्तों इस पर एक मूवी भी बनी है अगर आप इंटरेस्टेड हैं तो आप मूवी देख सकते हैं बट ऑन दिस वीडियो लर्नर्स आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस विद यू फैक्चुअल इंफॉर्मेशन टू द पॉइंट इंफॉर्मेशन about this wonderful old english epic first english epic that was written during anglo saxon time period so let us have a look at first slide this is old english epic i have already let us told you this is old english epic written in english and then let us you can see how many lines are there so 3182 lines are there 3182 lines are there and let us old english epic or you can say first english epic let us yes you can say first english epic beautiful okay let us the work this is the work that is written in early 20 line Any twenty lines. Let us. This was the question in your UGC net exam. Dear Wolf, how is it written? Let us. There were a few lines from this particular work, and then let us. It was a question that these lines contain. So let us write answer. Any tradition. Let us. This is known as oldest surviving long poem in. Saxon time period. Let us though other uh, manuscripts were also there. So let us there are only four surviving manuscripts. Four surviving manuscripts. And let us out of those four, one is Beowulf. Uh, let us see the author of uh, this particular book is unknown. Sometime learners, it has been said that this is the work by a beautiful poet. Okay, learners, but author anonymous, or you can say unknown. Learners, the timing of this particular work when it was composed, actually, learners, it is also unknown. But uh, learners, scholars and researchers tell that it was written probably eight or. Between letters, you can say eight to eleven century time period. Let us now you can see the information. So author anonymous. The setting of the work you can see. So setting of the Beowulf work is in Scandinavia. Just let us Scandinavia. Let us you can see. So this is the setting of this epic poem. let us beowulf so he is the major character hero of gates finally learners he comes to aid king hrothgar let us so is hrothgar so hrothgar is a king of danes he was king of danes and let us in his kingdom there was a hall named harrod learners yes you can see h e o r o t harrod this was the name of that particular a big hall on that particular hall learners that was dedicated for celebration of victory of the king so learners one night when they were celebrating so at that time learners a monsters entered on that hall named herod of hrothgar's king of danes and finally learners he kills a lot of a lot of uh, peoples that were celebrating a lot of knights that were celebrating the victory party so learners after after that the wolf come the wolf comes to aid king hrothgar and finally learners he slays 
Grantham, the monster that was entered on that particular uh, on this particular hall named Harrod. Okay, ladies. After slaying of uh, after slaying of that particular monster Grantham, Beowulf was free. But learners, uh, finally, from this point of time. Another, another learner's revenge, you can say, a kind of revenge appeared. And this was the revenge for her child. It was Grandel's mother. She demand for revenge. And finally, learners, you can see a movie. So on that movie, Angelina Jolie acted. And Angelina Jolie knew how her learners is even she established a sexual relation too with the pure wolf on that movie but let us i think that is not part of the real view uh, later on learners after slaying view wolf after slaying uh, grandel and then after that uh, grandel's mother he came back yes his own place because he was from gate land let us yes we will from where so let us he was from gate on my previous video i have already told you okay let us and uh, now she now let us you can see one more thing so after a long time period after 50 years let us 50 years passed and one day learners a dragon Dragon learners, so dragon ke mushe fire aati hai. So a dragon learners attacks. So Beowulf was there, and then learners a combat between dragon and Beowulf take place. Finally, Beowulf was success in killing that particular dragon. But he was learners, you can say, severely wounded. And finally, he died. Let us the work that opens with the help of King Hothbur to save from Grendel the monster. And the end of the epic that let us, takes place with the death of this hero named Beowulf. Let us this particular book, so that was that was part of learners uh, manuscript named novel codex why learners novel codex uh, because learners the first owner of this manuscript manuscript was lawrence novel yes he was the first owner of this particular manuscript during 16th century Learners, uh, novel codex is also known as cotton whiteless. Cotton whiteless. A uh, while learners, cotton whiteless. So after honoring of Lawrence novel, another man was the year. named Sir Robert Briscott. So learners, that's why this manuscript was known as Cotton Whiteless. Got it, learners? So you must remember Novel Codex with Lawrence Novel and Cotton Whiteless, so learners, with you can say Sir Robert Briscott. Got it, learners? This particular manuscript was badly damaged by a fire. During 1731, during 1731, so badly it was destroyed, but learners, kus to bachhi. Learners, one more thing I would like to tell, so about Seema Shini and then collection of this particular work, because Seema Shini is known as the modern translator of the work, Beowulf, modern translator. Modern translator learners because he translated this work Beowulf in 1999. Got it learners? And Seema Sini, a great personality, he received Nobel Prize of Literature in 1995. 
his one of the best poetic collection that is known as death of naturalist let us just uh, shima sini he translated this particular work in 1999 and let us this particular work be full so this work has a great impact on w h arden ted hugh and seamus in e2 even learners uh, even author like john milton author like john milton he was also greatly influenced from this particular work the world got it learners one more thing so i think you have heard the name j r r tolkien so j r r tolkien he also delivered a lecture delivered a lecture learners on the wolf and its importance learners you can search on google for more information so finally learners i would like to say something about this particular book beowulf a grand work ancient work old epic in english oldest epic uh, learners in english and first epic in english the manuscript that contains the content of beowulf so that is known as noble codex and then learners one more name so that is cotton whiteless so i have already told lawrence novel and then learners i have already told robert bruce cotton you can see on your screen the work is written in learners yes uh, 3182 lines in alliterative words the setting of the work is in scandinavia okay learners an author of the work anonymous two learners major incident so one uh, that is learners laying of grandel later on his mother and one more thing learners that is associated with the wolf so that is a combat between dragon and the wolf and finally he died learners if you are interested in my videos in my classes so you are most welcome you can watch my free classes my paid classes at an academy let us an academy is one of the wonderful platform where you can watch live classes for both the paper paper 1 and as well as paper 2 i have already started a new batch and i am going to cover 1 2 3 4 first four units learners so learners in interested candidate can message me on my given number and if you are going to subscribe an academy courses so do not forget to use my referral code that is aks rasvi and let us get 10% instantly off on your anacademy courses for complete course for complete videos for complete live classes learners you can subscribe to anacademy plus 1 to 10 units learners i am going to provide wonderful notes so thank you so much learners next class ke intezar kijiyega tab tak ke liye namaskar ummeed karta hu aap achhe honge aur acha week kar rahe honge thank you so much